Hey guys, so in the large May subscription, everyone got one of the CD mailers. Um, I found these at a thrift store and I thought they would be perfect to make a um, me, uh, like a little mini journal. So first, I want to kind of cut off the part where the CD goes and make that area into pockets. Um, it was a little bit tricky. I used a piece of cardboard underneath so that it wouldn't cut all the way through. And then I folded it over to create my crease to for my line, but I would recommend just using a ruler and then cutting straight across. So once you've removed that half, then you're left with two pockets. So the CD mailer ma uh, measures about six by six. So I made my signature 5.75 by 5.75. You could probably get away with a little bit bigger, but I just didn't want to risk having any overlap. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew in my signature. My signature is about 12 pages, but I have a couple thinner pages in there. Um, you just don't want to make it too thick because once you start decorating and adding things, you don't want it to um, be thicker than the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and poke my holes. I use a weeding tool instead of an awl, um, and I'm just going to do the three hole um, threading. It can be kind of tough to get through, so you really have got to use some strength. Otherwise, you can put a cork board underneath to be able to punch that hole. Um, so again, if you're doing the three um, threaded, you go in the middle hole, up through the top, back in through the middle hole, up through the bottom, and then you are going to loop your thread underneath that first loop, and then you can go ahead and lose your needle and tie your thread. You can cut the thread down, you can leave it, you can use ribbon depending on what you're using. I just used an embroidery thread today. So this is what it looks like when it's all sewn in. So you can see the thread on the edge and then we have that little flap. And then my um, signature is already in and I just need to decorate. So I went ahead and painted with a uh, matte acrylic paint the cover and then the inside portion. Um, I just didn't like the stark white. Um, I did it in kind of like a brush stroke and then that can be decorated as well. But here is what I ended up coming up with. And you'll notice that this is a naked journal. So I will be selling this on the website if you're interested in purchasing it. So the embellishments and the decorating are to a minimum because I want um, whoever decides to buy it to be able to decorate. And I hope you love it.